All right, today we're looking at the Dr. Prepare 100 amp hour mini battery. Let's get this out of the box and check it out. All right, we got our uh, user's manual here. We'll check a look, take a look at that in a minute. Our uh, bolts, we got uh, some M8 bolts, a couple of protective caps, there's an extra red one for some reason, a couple of washers. No strap. That makes it a little bit difficult to get it out of the box. That was packed in there nice and tight, I'll tell you that. Nice thick foam completely surrounding the battery. I always like to see that. Make sure it ships well. All right, there we go. Kind of a different design from their other stuff. 100 amp hour mini, 12.8 volt, LiPo 4 or lithium iron phosphate. You uh, don't recycle, don't light it on fire stuff. And it is substantially smaller than the typical group 31 like the other battery of Dr. Prepare that I did. I'm going to quickly pause this video for a moment and ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button as well while you're at it. Then ring that notification bell to get, to get notifications. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. All right, let's get some measurements on this here. This looks like about 10 and an eighth wide by right about 8 inches tall. And... A depth of five and a quarter, just a hair under that. So as I said, it's a nice compact size. Out of the gate, I like the design of it. I like the size of it. I just wish they had some sort of handles to handle this. But the truth of the matter is also, a lot of times these, these straps are kind of in the way. I don't can see this here. On the other batteries, once you kind of get it into place, I don't really want the straps on there because I don't plan on moving it around. If you needed to take this as a portable uh, solution for something, then uh, you know you may want to have some sort of a strap here. So I'm not sure why they neglected to put that on there, but you know, not a big deal. All right, let's go ahead and look over this manual here. Let's see this. Uh, one of these weird fold-out kind. Important safety instructions, specifications. All right, here we go. Lithium iron phosphate, 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hour. Rated voltage is 12.8. Max charging voltage, 14.6. Max discharge current, 100 amps. Recommended charging current is 20 amps is optimal, and 100 amp is max. That's always good to see, too. Uh, cycle lifespan, more than 5,000 cycles. Charging temperature range, 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 113 or 0 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. Discharge temperature, negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 Fahrenheit to negative 20 Celsius up to negative 60 Celsius. Low temperature protection, charging is 23 degrees Fahrenheit for charging. So that's nice to see. Yeah, zero degrees Celsius. It does have a low, low temp protection on this mini battery, too. That's really nice to see. And discharging is uh, negative 13 to uh, negative 20. And uh, high temperature protection, 113 degrees Fahrenheit to 131. That, that seems a little low there. Out here in the desert, it can get to 113 on a regular basis. Not that you would have these in. If you didn't have a climate-controlled area in a compartment or something, that's a little bit uh, low for a high temperature protection, I think. Discharging. Oh, that's for charging. Okay, so discharging, 143.6 to 161. Storage temperature range, blah, blah, blah. System voltage, da, da, da. 
boost charge voltage 12 14.2 over discharge recover voltage 12 14 12.6 over dis over discharge recovery voltage 12.6 over discharge voltage 11.1 these are the parameters that you can put into your charge controller if you have one that you can configure that way that's kind of nice to have that in there and their sizes that they have is a 10.02 by 5.15 by 7.8 inches it's pretty darn close to that we'll just trust them on this 22 pounds um, how to set the controller again it says you the absorption and all that sort of thing on different types of controllers call things differently a little bit sometimes so that's that's the information that you need to know to configure your charge controller how to connect the battery recommended wire sizes how to charge the battery how to store the battery some charge and discharge curves cycle life that sort of thing yeah I don't like the, the way that this folds but that's just being uh, a little petty it, uh, it has all the information that you need to know in there that's for sure all right let's go ahead and get this on the charger uh, charge it up all the way and then we will be back and we will run a capacity test on this battery and see if we get our full 100 amp hours out of this 100 amp hour mini. I do like the recessed uh, terminal hookups here. So you'll have a nice flat area on the top to make that kind of usable space as long as obviously you don't put something metal there and short something out. Yep. All right, we got that all hooked up. And what we're going to do, after we do our capacity test, we're going to do a little real-world test and hook something up to this battery and try it out. Today's test, we're going to try this out. What is it? Stick around to the end and find out. Let's get on with it. All right, let's go ahead and get this off the charger. And what we're going to go ahead and do here is, as we normally do, we're going to put a draw on this to charge up my big Mango Power E power station over here. Get our inverter on. All right, now what I went ahead and did also was I set this to, for this test, uh, as a 103 amp hour battery. Because we're going to see if we can try to get over the 100 amp hour rating of this battery. Let's see what happens. Packed up my bags, left the city behind. Headed to Concho, gonna find my peace of mind. Found a little piece of heaven where the desert meets the sky. In my tiny home where the stars come alive. No more hustle and bustle. No more city strife. Living on green under the Arizona sun. Sun a panel shining bright. We're living off of the rug. In Concho, where life is slow and sweet. Living in harmony with nature's heart. In my tiny home where freedom can be beat. All right, so this battery did incredibly well for such a small battery. If you remember right, we had this set to 103 amp hours and we were able to get all the way through those 103 amp hours. We had a little tiny bit left, but I'm just not going to push it. If I can get excessive of 100 amp hour, then I'd consider that a pass of the test. All right, what we got here is the perfect little egg cooker. I absolutely love eggs. I eat them for breakfast and for lunch whenever I have lunch. And this thing makes perfect eggs every single time. No brainer, no boiling, and uh, no riffraff. I can't seem to get this to show here on camera, but there's measurements here for how you like your egg cooked. So it's got uh, poached, soft, medium, hard. And uh, that, that, that you put that much water in there, you fill it up. 
to where you want your eggs cooked. You push the button and that's all you got to do. I'm going to go ahead and have this pre-measured here. I like mine to be just under hard. You twist this little lid off here. You set your little eggs on here. I'm only going to do two. It can do up to two, four, six eggs. Whoops, you pour that water in there. You put your lid on. You hit the button to get it started. What we're going to do here, though, is we're going to go ahead and check, see how much electricity this uses uh, to cook us a couple of eggs. And it wouldn't matter if you cook two eggs or six eggs. It takes the same amount of time. What it basically does is boils until all the water's gone and then shuts off and sounds the alarm that your eggs are done. Get that plugged in here. And we're ready to hit the button. So we're drawing 291 watts. We'll go ahead and let that run and uh, put it on a time lapse here and get back to see how much total electricity it used. goes off you get this nice little jingle let you know your eggs are done push the button turn it off open that up now it came with a little uh, spindle that goes in here to help lift off the whole thing but I've lost it I've been using this for a long time now it's one of those few kitchen gadgets where I really really get a lot of use out of it I love this thing and it's only like 20 25 bucks or something take your eggs off Drop them in some cool water to uh, stop the cooking process. And enjoy you egg salad sandwiches or whatever it is you want. All right, we'll check our uh, usage here. 0 0.066 kilowatt hours. At 110 volts. Average or low of 289, about 295 watts the whole time. 13 minutes, 38 seconds is how long it took. All right, so that's it for this video. I'll have links for all this stuff in the description. I believe the only place you can get the uh, Doctor Prepare battery right now is from their, direct from their website. Uh, but I'll double check and see if it's on Amazon yet or not. If not, get it directly there. This is on Amazon, and so is the, uh, the meter here. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.